the other amazing thing I find about Big Sound, especially uh, you know, going my first time last year, was the um, if people aren't uh, familiar with Fortitude Valley in Brisbane, is that um, you manage to pick venues that create a really uh, it's kind of just a really nice circle of traffic. Yeah. You go from venue to venue without it, and you know you've got you've got public roads between some of the venues. You know, you've got malls, you've got you know buses and, a, and, a, and main roads, and it's still everything just sort of clicks and works. Without, well, yeah, that's, without having to close down streets like in yeah. Austin, Texas, you know, for South by Southwest. Yeah, well, that's been very thought of. Like, yeah. a lot of thought's gone into that. And it's, you know, there, there is some fantastic venues, even in Fortitude Valley, that are just a little bit too far away to make sense of that mm-hmm. for now. You know, like, well, I'm sure maybe even next year that um, the event will grow to make sense to bring those other venues into it. But there, it is amazing, and it's literally less than five minutes walk from the two furthest away venue mm-hmm. points mm-hmm. of the 12. So I know every year on the first year, I'll see upwards of 20 bands in the, on the first night when you've got all the legs to get around and, and see them all. And that's amazing. You just see three songs of each and yeah. keep running for the yeah. five hours or whatever it is. Now let's talk, let's talk a little bit about the, you've got some new additions. You've got music and design and, there's, and that's, that's split up into two sections. You've got the uh, artisan beer, uh, and uh, the other one is the, um, is it, what's the name of the company that's producing the state? Uh, you've got two sections for your music and design for this year. Um, you're talking about the, um, uh, the, the, the design. I've, it's just failed. I've just, just completely forgot. And you, you've got the artisan beer and design, which is in the car park. You were yeah, well, the artisan, <laughs> um, excuse me, is the gallery and car yeah, park yeah, at yes, the top yeah. of the hill. And that's art markets and design elements there and there's beer and, and all. It's night markets, basically, but with the, a music and design spin on it. But yeah. the music and design conference has been um, the brainchild of Denise Foley, who's the head of Q Music, who's kind of the boss of Big Sound. And she's brought in a, a great lady called Romy Willing to program that. Yeah. And as it's turned out, Nick Cave is the keynote speaker um, for the music and design panel on the Tuesday. So... That's really looking at the visual representation of music and yeah. all of the different aspects of that. And their conferences, the, or their, our, the music and design conferences on the Tuesday and Wednesday, and the big sound traditional conferences on the Tuesday, Wednesday, or sorry, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But for me, it's all much the same, really. And that'll be the, I guess, in time. Yeah. It's a bit like what we were talking about with Big Sound Live. Like, you kind of bring in a new element to make sense of it, but in time it'll all be the same thing. How long's that idea been in development? You'd have to ask Denise. I, I imagine a few years. Yeah. But she only only kind of sprung, um, it, on sprung it on everyone this yeah. year, as far as I know. That well, seems really good too, and it's a you know when they also talk about it, if you read on the the website as well is that um they sort of take on ideas further from the keynote speaking sessions. So you know sometimes you get to those sessions and. Uh, Things are not always resolved as far as the conversation is concerned in yeah. the panel, which is which is which happens at every music conference you go to, and I think that's what a lot of people talk about is why do we have these panels? They're not resolved, but this extension of it with music and design, as is explained on the website, yeah. is an extension of let's continue to talk about that in, yeah. in a different area in a different field. And I think that's a great idea. Well, it's interesting. I've never heard of the discussion of the res- the idea of resolution. Resolution. Oh, all the time. Yeah, I mean, like every, for me, every... I, I didn't think it was possible. So. Well, I don't think it is either, <laughs> but just to have that continuation, maybe in a smaller, yeah. not on the stage, under the lights, in front of a crowd, yeah. let's continue it and workshop it, seems, seems to at least maybe give a give a resolution to the resolution, if, if, if you yeah, know what I mean. So, I no. do. Well, I think, you know, there's no doubt that the visual representation of music is as important, if not more important now than it ever has been. <laughs> and so however that plays out and whether that comes down to fashion or it comes down to video or however that plays out now, it's it's a discussion worth having. Mm. And I think, um, you know, Romy and Denise have done an incredible job bringing in all of the right people from that world to, to make it relevant. And, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Mm. It's exciting. And the other thing is too, uh, you know, maybe not a lot of people, if they just come for the main conference, you had the Little Big Sound on Saturday. That's not on Saturday this year. That was actually a couple of months ago. Oh, well, was... you've changed it now, haven't yeah, you? Oh, so... right. So can you explain that anyway, just for, for people well, to understand? Well, yeah, Little Big Sound's high school, pretty yeah. much. So um, Martin um, and Stacey from Q Music have worked with a bunch of great high school students. And last year, I think in the year before, it was on the Saturday. 
and it's very much targeted at, at, at school age people and their aspirations to be involved in music. And this year, yeah, I spoke on a panel there a couple of months ago, and it was um, more more crowds. It was great. It was on a on a school day or on a work day, and there was lots of teachers brought along their classes in school uniform, and it, it seemed to be um, it's kind of grown out of being the little brother or sister of Big Sound into its own event um, with its own momentum, I guess just having a similar name. Is that why you moved it from being at the end of the week at Big Sound? Yeah, well, well, I wasn't involved in that decision-making process, but I assume that's exactly why. Just because it was growing too, getting too big. Fair enough. Now, uh, I guess the other thing is you've been, uh, you know, in the week and a half time, you hand over the reins to Mr. Nick O'Byrne from uh, Air. Yeah. And... uh, How's the, how's that tra- how's that transition been over the great? Well, yeah, I've year? got an incredible amount of respect for Nick, and we're mates, and I think we have worked together pretty well. Like, I think it's one of those jobs that it is a really it's a one person job. Yeah, and I think it's been great. Well, I hope hope it's been great for Nick to have a year to kind of get his head around the way that it all works before he's thrown to the lion's den and and doing it himself. Yeah, hopefully he would feel the same way. Um, so that's really what it's been about is to give him the experience without it being on his head so much. And yeah, and as of the 13th of September, it's all his for a couple of years. So it's it's all, it's all yours, mate. You're in, (laughs) you're in trouble now. So now the other, the other thing before I let you go is, uh, you, you, you've had your four years here at at Big Sound, including the ones, well, the one or two you attended previously before you took it over. What are you, have you got any great moments for us? You got some things that you really remember, be it crew, be it bands, be it, things happening oh so many that's a, a really good question like I think um f- for this year like I remember being at South by Southwest this year and making my notes on the way over and going well my dream three keynote speakers are Nick Cave, Billy Bragg and Amanda Palmer never thinking for one moment that I'd get three maybe one and as it turns out you got we got two out of three and Nick from via satellite so two and a half two and a half yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. Claim two, <laughs> two and a half um it's band experiences for me like it's you know i because i've worked in australian music my whole adult life some of my favorite people uh my colleagues and people that i've worked with so it's been roaming the streets of fortitude valley with my best friends um it kind of feels like i've been given the keys to put on the best party if you know what i mean and it's like you know it's almost like in some ways you're one of the people hosting this great party um and I have as much fun as everybody else in the evenings, you know. Maybe not the first year, but certainly as my second and third year, um, and definitely this year, like I'm out there with everybody else trying to see the next great amazing thing, and you know, I wouldn't even know where to start. Actually, I wish I'd thought more about that because there's just so, so many great experiences um, over the years. But yeah, I'm sure they'll come flooding back in the, you know, when you're a big sound. Yeah, Maybe and look, I I think for me. The best thing about the next year for me is, like everybody else, instead of being really busy as the programmer of the event, I'm going to be able to utilise the event for Footstomp. Yeah. So all of the bands I work with and all of the opportunities that everybody else gets out of Big Sound, I'm going to get them yeah. too, you know. Well, you just answered my next question. I'm going to say, where's Footstomp going, you know, once <clears throat> once you've uh, let, let the Big Sound reins go? Well, well so it doesn't the make that much difference... Yeah to foot stomp like we have been doing what we do all along and certainly from I guess from the programming of an event point of view I've, I'm programming three new festivals now Bleach which is a surf music and art festival on the Gold Coast in March Live It Up which is an under 18 festival in Brisbane in May and the Sydney Folk Festival um, which is a folk festival in Sydney mm-hmm. um, happening in September next year Wow you really didn't uh there's, there's more work on the plate than there is less work on the plate. Well, how's that? Yeah, no, it's not as big as Big Sound. No. <laughs> I'll definitely have more time to go okay. surfing. Oh, good, good. good and good. Um, and man, or co- I co-manage a band called Busby Maru, yeah. who've got an album coming out in October, and it's feeling like it's going to go really well. So I'll be very busy setting that up, and you know, I am very busy setting that up and watching it, watching it fly, hopefully. Fantastic. Well... Asho, thank you so much for giving us the Pleasure. the time nice today. Nice to see you, Ben. Nice to see you again too. And uh, you know, <clears throat> I guess uh, you know I've spoken to a lot of people about you. And like I said before, they just all think you're a great bloke and you've done so much for music. And uh, 
I guess uh, for me on behalf of everyone, thanks so much for oh, thank you, mate. doing a great thing at Big Sound and, and yeah. um, really leading the troops and putting on a great event, mate, that everybody really respects right around the world. It's been fantastic to I appreciate uh, it very much. sit here and have a chat to you. So uh, we're looking forward to Big, Th- uh, Big Sound 2013. And, uh, yeah, it'll be lots of fun. It's going to be great fun. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Graham Ashen here, from, uh, founder of Footstomp Music. And, uh, well, a week and a half left of uh, executive programmer for Big Sound. Yeah, thanks, Ben. Thanks very much, mate.